it's Shirey. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, it's been a very long time since I last uploaded a video. Yung last upload ko was last year pa. Super busy lang, kaya wala kong time mag-film at mag-edit ng vlog. Anyways, for this video, I will be sharing with you guys my rhinoplasty journey. that I'm finally doing this na. I saved up for this since last year pa from my small business. Plug ko lang ang aking small business Swain PH. Please follow us sa Instagram, sa Facebook, and sa show. Disclaimer lang, I am not doing this for anyone. I am doing this for myself. You know, if you have the chance to make yourself feel more beautiful, then go grab it. Before anything else, my doctor is Dr. Renato Pascual Jr. of Bellomed, Centuria, and St. Luke's PGC. I will be having my operation sa Centuria Makati. The cost is at 120,000 pesos. That's excluding the meds, the lab tests, and the post-op care things. A little backstory lang. Last year pa ako ng doctor. I joined rhinoplasty groups and I read a lot of reviews and experiences of different people from different doctors Kaso I can't seem to find the right doctor for me. Then my mom sent me a video of a girl who had her nose done by Doc Nato and super nagustuhan ko yung gawa na Doc. So I researched more about him. I saw some of his works and then when I realized na he is the right doctor. I messaged Doc sa Viber noong December 30, 2021, not expecting for a reply kasi holidays, pero nag-reply si Doc ng January 1, 2022. O diba? A very happy new year. I had my consultation last January 4, and nagpabook agad ako ng operation sked kasi ang bilis maubos ng slots ni Doc. During that time, ang earliest available schedule was March na. Kaya, March 11 yung nakuha kong schedule. Still so lucky that I was able to secure my slot before maging super in demand si Doc. Dahil na rin sa mga nato babies na super gaganda like Mika Salamanca. As of today, March 10, ang earliest available schedule na ni Doc is I think March 2023. That's next year na. Super tagal, pero I'm sure it's worth the wait. And also, based on my research, wala akong makita ang kahit anong bad reviews about it. I'm part of the Doc Nato Babies Group, and his patients there are not just satisfied, but super happy with their noses. Our JC is full of beautiful and handsome faces every day, kaya mas lalo ka talagang may excite. By the way, if you are planning to have your rhinoplasty with Doc Nato and you're not yet part of the group, I will be putting the link in the description below. 
After your consultation, you will need to pay 10K for the reservation fee to secure your operation date, which is deductible to the total price. Then, they will send you prescription, lab requests, pre-op, and post-op guides. The lab tests should be done 2 to 3 weeks prior to your operation. This is required to make sure that you are cleared for operation and para hindi magkaroon ng problems during your operation. I had my lab test last February 25 sa High Precision Centuria Makati and lumabas yung results kinabukasan. I had my cardio clearance noong February 28 and unfortunately my cardio said na my UTI ako. So I was prescribed to drink antibiotics for 7 days and to repeat my urinalysis to make sure na din na wala akong infection before my operation. So I had my urinalysis again last March 6 and good news dahil wala na yung aking UTI. So I'm cleared for operation na. Then required din magpa RT-PCR two to three days prior to your operation. I had my last March 9. Nagpabook lang ako ng home service RT-PCR test sa high precision and very convenient siya kasi sila na mismo yung pupunta sa bahay niyo para iswap ka. Then yung result, lalabas din siya agad kinapukasan. I have here the prescription meds. Some of them you need to take one day prior to your operation, just like the antibiotic, the Arnica Montana. So this is, I think, for the swelling. That's five pellets under your tongue, three times a day. And also, I have this Perimar. So it's important na may sulfur siya kapag fresh pa yung wounds. Here are some of the meds. Also, you need to have Dr. Ban ointment. I have the Betadine and the Agua and also the applicator sticks. So, sterile ito for the ones. It's not recommended to use the ordinary cotton buds. Kaya, ito yung recommended. I think I have everything ready na. I need to rest na din kasi maaga yung aking operation. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello guys. Good morning. We're now on our way to Centuria Makati. My operation lasted for 5 hours. That's 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So this is how my nose looks before and after operation. Super blocked I'm already dizzy. I'll show you right now after the operation. I felt okay, but then after how many minutes? Super nahilo ako and sumuka ako na sumuka. So we know nurse, it's normal daw kasi I was able to swallow some blood. Okay. Hi guys, today is day 2 post-op and this is how my nose looks like. See, medyo swollen na din yung aking face. 
is nakatapos ko lang ng gapat and nag-spray ako ng stereo mark kaya medyo watch hindi ako masyado nakapag-film after all and during day one kasi I felt really dizzy good thing right now I feel better so I'm gonna try to share to you guys how I clean my nose I just struggle pa ako sa pag-clean kasi feeling ko masisira siya. Pero yun, scared ako na magkaroon ng scars. Kaya hindi ko masyadong pinipin. Malinis na siya compared to yesterday. Kapapin kasi I was super scared. Ako masira. Next, I'm gonna put some betadine. So I do this two times a day. Para yung hydrogen peroxide. Up to three days lang daw siya pwede gamitin. siya pantay kasi hindi yun nagmamaga pa. We can see the result after 6 months pa. Pero after 7 days, they're gonna remove the sutures and the cast. Makikita naman na yung difference pero uh, the complete healing will take 6 months to 1 year pa. Pero super big difference na niya ngayon pa lang. Hi guys, just a quick update. Today is day 3 post op, and this is how it looks like. So, brand chubby na cheeks ko. <laughs> This is how it looks. As you can see, super maga pa ng aking nose. Pero I'm so happy kasi hindi nagmaga ng sobra yung aking face. And hindi din ako nagkaroon ng pasa. Unlike din sa mga napanood ko na videos before, na super nagmaga yung face nila and nagkaroon sila ng maraming pasa. Like may black eye sila, may pasa din sila sa neck after nung kanilang rhinoplasty. So far, sa akin, wala naman. I think naka-help yung pag-inom ko ng maraming water. 
kasi di ba nag ako ng UTI. So, for two weeks before my operation, I was drinking a lot of water. Wala naman akong ibang ininom aside from the Arnica Montana sa prescription ni Doc, which I started taking one day prior operation. Aside from that, wala na akong ibang tinik. Uh, water na lang. So, I think water really helped. So, kanina I took a bath na kasi super oily na talaga ng aking head. Struggle lang talaga para hindi mabasa yung aking nose at saka yung ears. Hi guys! Today is day 5 post-op and this is how it looks. And this is going to be the last part of this video. Kasi nag-edit ako kanina and super haba na pala ng vlog na to. So I decided to divide it into two parts. Pero, i-upload ko to sa April pa. That will be one month after my operation. Kasi, I haven't told anyone about my rhinoplasty yet. Ang nakakaalam lang nito is si Carlo and sila mami. And, on April, we will be having a family outing. And, I'm planning to record my family's reaction when they see my new nose. Today is day 6 post -op. And tomorrow na ang aking cast and suture removal. I'm very excited na guys. If you're wondering kung masakit ba, no it's not. Wala akong mafe-feel na kahit anong pain sa nose. But sa ears, merong konti. Pero super bearable naman siya. And yung pain is hindi palagi. Like, kumikirot-kirot lang siya. During the op naman, nakatulog na kasi ako agad after i-insert yung IV. Pero nagising ako in the middle of the operation and may nafeel ako na pain. I'm not sure kung anesthesia ba yun pero super sakit na talaga. Pero aside from that, wala naman akong ibang pain na nafeel. Ayun, if you're having your rhinoplasty with Doc Nato, IV sedation and local anesthesia yung gamit niya. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow for my cast and suture removal.